readings indicate that the central focus of this memory is located below you, in an old abandoned mine known as Devlin. Entry 95D in our client's memory journal indicates that an accident occurred affecting them in a meaningful way. I love the leaves that are just floating around. Ah. They kind of seem to spawn out of midair, though, which is a little bit distracting. But cool, nonetheless. No, I can't turn it on. Disappointed. I so wanted to fill that bucket with water. Just think of all the things I could do with it if I did. I could move the bucket, water in it. I could spill the bucket, pouring water onto the ground. I could drink the water. Hmm. Is that a bag of arsenic? You know, I don't even know what arsenic's used for. I just hear the word and I think, oh god, that's nasty and it's gonna kill me. So many places to go. I'm gonna get lost. All right, read that. Read that. Didn't read this. Village cider to stop production. Our beloved field cider may. Wait, did I read this? No. Um, may cease production upon the ending of the May Day celebrations. Mr. P. Field, who soon might not be able to continue with his labor pending a U.S. export deal, wanted to share some words. Thank you to all who have supported me during these tough times. <laughs> this feels a little bit like gone home, picking up, picking up objects and just examining them. Like, is there something on the bottom of it? Is it secrets? Did somebody scribble some passwords on the bottom of it? Letter to Mr. Harvey of Hale, dear Mr. Harvey, as I am sure you are aware, my client Mr. H. Smith is intent on offering you a particularly generous buyout of the Harvey & Co. Limited Enterprise. We would like to propose a meeting between parties and solicitors on the 15th of October at our offices in Devlin to discuss a potential acquisition of assets and trade. Be under no illusion, Mr. Harvey. We are fully aware of your current financial disposition and are incredibly interested in rectifying the situation for you. Yours sincerely, Mr. J. Dawkins, Business Solicitor and Consultant. Oh, looks like a ray of light. solve their problems. Hopefully. Or it could be something shady. Who knows? But I'm guessing they were lacking the money to fix the safety issues, so having a bit of a cash injection would probably be really helpful. And what is this? Oliver John Goldleaf Tobacco. Okay, I definitely feel like this is going to be important. So let's go ahead and take that back. Is that fishing stuff? Yeah, I think there's some fishing stuff. I think I see hooks and some fly... things. I don't know anything about fishing. Ah, look at that view. Let me do a slow... <coughs> Excuse me. Let me do a slow move into the window. Yeah. Cinematic. I've already been there, already been there. Have not gone upstairs or downstairs. Let's go up.
Are those... Are those books? Edward's Carpentry. Those are literally the largest books I've seen in my entire freaking life. Those must weigh like 50 freaking pounds. Dear God. Ooh, fancy. Can I sit down? Oh, I want to sit down and stare out this window and play the guitar. That would be cool. Seriously, they did such a good job with the water. It looks really good. Yep, somebody enjoyed fishing. No doubt about it. Hmm? What is this? Can I put this in the typewriter? Oh, okay. <laughs> I was thinking, like, maybe it has secret ink on it if you put it under a light. Just a side note. Any items you pick up can be stored in the case. I know that. You already told me. Also, this has 1670 written on the back. Writing down notes. I'm going to have so many notes. Let's go store this. Okay, so can I write something? What the heck? How does that work? Memory journal number one. Monday. I remember waking up here for the first time and feeling sad. For a long time, I couldn't understand why I was here. But then I remembered smelling perfume. For the first time, I was happy, but I'm not sure I know why. Saturday. Today, a nurse was holding my hand and asking me to calm down. I tried to explain that I had spilled a cup of hot tea and burnt my arm. The pain was terrible. The nurse shushed me and told me my arm was fine, and when I looked down, I saw that I was wearing a bandage. The nurse explained that I'd had an accident on Thursday. I hardly heard a word she said after that. Somehow I'd managed to lose three days. So is that the accident that happened down below? I'm guessing it is. I really feel like I should be able to jump on top of this. I don't know, when I see something like that, I think, ooh, a stack of boxes I can jump on top of. I guess I'm just used to playing FPSs and whatnot. Okay, let's go downstairs. Oh wait, here's another one of these paintings. Yep, all from the same author. Looks like the grass is trying to take back this... Is that a piece of wood or a piece of metal? I'm not certain. I think it's wood. It's like it's reclaiming it. It's mine! It's mine! Hmm, looks like it does something. Never mind, it does nothing. I was wrong. There is not a thing to do over here. 
I really do just want to stare out at the water and listen to the seagulls and the sound of the sea lapping against the shore and the rocks. Okay, I think the next place to go is in here. Ooh. Password. Okay. Alright, well, I've got some stuff written down. So, um, what's the most likely? I guess the most likely thing is the number that was on the bottom of the plate. 1670. I was already there. Hold on, I'm not done. Eh, eh, controller, come on. God damn your lack of fine control. There we go. Ooh, it worked. Okay, so I've been digging a little deeper into our client's personal history, and I found details of a strong emotional response to someone who once worked within the mine. An entry that discusses the mine at great lengths, but doesn't discuss whom the individual was that worked there. Continue to work your way down, further into the mine. It seems the center of this memory is very much at the heart of these industrial ratways. I'll contact you if I gain any more information. Okay. Ooh. Right, so I'm going to be doing stuff with these. Oh god. There's a lot of them. <clears throat> Warning, please ensure all valves are in correct position before lever activation. Oh, I guess I'm not going to activate it yet then. Hold on, what was that manual? Um, air compressor manual? I wonder if that's what I need to operate this. I mean, hell, could there be any harm in just trying it? It's a memory. It's not like I can die, right? Still, might as well explore around first. Let's not be brash. She stirs beyond the waves. I hear her calling as we work the ground, crying and begging for us to stop, pleading and bargaining as we bring our tools down onto the earth, rock and metal, beneath our feet. Her waves are crashing against the cliffside in protest, cursing our industrial ventures, crying for her plight. I know in my heart that one day she will lash out, and we shall pay the price. But what can I do, Mother Earth? I have mouths that I need to feed, a job that I need, that I need to do. The industrial man asks of me, and I shall, and I shall provide. As the machines brim with repetitive life, and the crafted tools claw at the rock face, I feel the unrelenting force of nature below me, making its preparations to unleash its free-form glory upon us. Oh, here we go. <laughs> that makes it simple. Okay. So, right is open. One, two, three, four, five. So there's five of them. Just make sure that matches up everything. One, two, three, four, five. Yep, okay. Alright. So going left to right, let me write this down. It's right, left, left, right, left. Do that in just a second. Let me keep looking around. I'm guessing I need power to do this. Yeah, okay. Okay, let's get the party started. So, right, left, left, right, left. So that one's good. Left. That one's already at left. And then right, left. There we go. I 
think it's working. It's moving up and down. That's a good sign, I believe. So they should probably work now? Yes. God, can you imagine how miserable it'd be to actually work down here? In the dark, underground, wearing uh, gas masks and... Ugh. And apparently, <laughs> given that they were shut down with poor ventilation too and... and a crappy lift. Let's get some tunes going. Something is going down. Something ain't right in the mines today. A man can sense when something isn't right. It stinks up the air, making us sweat. I heard someone say they were going to close the goddamn mine down entirely. The air compressor keeps breaking, and we have no manual to fix it. We need a way to cut the ventilation pipes, otherwise we'll suffocate down here. that does. I don't know if I want to press it. Eh, let's see what it does. Okay, so I can smash stuff. That makes me want to pick up stuff and smash it. What can I pick up and smash? Hide and seek. We slink and stir throughout the night, lurking through the unknown, relishing the places where only children dare go, dank alleys and secret fields navigated with the aim of reaching our adventurous and illuminated destination, hiding from our foes, our lamp in tow. Ah, I can't pick up the light. Okay. I have an idea. I'm pretty sure I don't need this, and there's another one of it. So even if it gets wrecked, who cares? Oh, I can't put it on there. I guess you can't, but I guess I don't want you to destroy stuff that you might need, maybe. Okay, I'll put you back on the shelf. You're safe for now. Looks like this way continues on, so let's go over rails first. It's a creepy noise. Okay. Hmm. A projector. I'm not sure how they got here, but I think they relate to our patient's history. Don't worry. You won't need these to progress this evening, as they're an optional task. But we should at least give this one a try. So do I take that back to my place? Projector zero parts restored. Oh, I thought I like just took the tape back to the case place and played it on that projector. Hmm. I wonder how this is going to work. We'll see. Air hose is clogged up. The bloody air hoses have been clogged up again, which means I'm going to have to puncture a hole in the rubber pipes to clear the smoke up down here. And I don't care how I do it. We had to seal the lower mines off to stop the smoke spreading. It's hell for the miners, and even though it's not ideal, it, it'll have to do for now. Foreman. This look like some f strong doors. What if I can open them? I'll store important notes like this downstairs in the case for you. 
They'll be there whenever you want to have a look at them. Oh, thank you. Dan, I can't find the air compression manual anywhere, which means we can't get the door to budge. It must be around here somewhere, and you were the last one to have it. Could you please find it and place it here on my desk? Steve. Alright, so I know it's somewhere down here. It's past the blast doors, right? Wait, are those the blast doors? If I need the manual to get the blast doors open, and the manual's behind the blast doors, then I sense a little bit of a problem. Hmm. Things we touch throughout our life can stay with us in the back of our minds. That was from Jean. Isopropyl ethyl... <laughs> Let me see if I can pronounce this. So isopropyl ethyl... Theo... Theonocarbonate? Theonocarbamate? Theonocarbamate. Reinforced glass, shatter resistant, up to 72 psi. Damn. It's a strong bottle. Alright, well, I'm gonna save that. Might come in handy. Alright, so I think I need to do optional stuff to attempt to restore it. At the moment, it's completely unrestored, so... I guess I'll come back to that, I think. So that's where I came from. I've been there, so I need to continue on here. Oh, yeah! What are those about? Uh, birds and mines. They're meant to... Be there to detect... What is it? Like, dangerous gas or something? Because they... I'm trying to remember. Is it because they... Like, they'll die more quickly than a human being will? So if you notice the... The bird dies and that means you need to get the hell out of there? Or something? I think it was something like that. Oh, I can't even go this way. Okay. So I guess to restore... To restore it, I need to do stuff elsewhere? I really feel like I should be able to take that film and play it back at my place. Not entirely sure how this optional gameplay restoration mechanic thingamajig is supposed to work. I'm sure it'll work out, though. Let's go back. Uh. Maybe if I try it ten more times, it'll work? Nope. So close, but so far away. Uh. What do I need to do? How do I get out of here? I did say I should go back and check the note. Maybe I need to do that or something. So the notes would be downstairs. Okay. Oh, I see. Okay. Alright, cool. So I'm sure nothing's changed here, right? Nope. So again, how do I leave? I'm literally stuck in somebody's memories. <laughs> I feel like I 
be able to pick up that light. But alas, I cannot. How in the heck can I be stuck? This doesn't seem like the sort of game where you're supposed to be able to get stuck. After all, it's supposed to be optional. just clicking on everything. Or, sorry, I'm using a controller. I guess I'm not clicking. I'm pressing. I'm... What do you even say? I'm not clicking. I'm trying to activate everything, I guess. Let's see if I can smash this bottle. Nope. Well, that didn't work. <laughs> I'm, I know I'm missing something incredibly stupid. Oh, is this what I'm supposed to cut? Because it's suggesting I can activate it somehow. But I don't have anything to cut it with. Yeah, rubber pipe. One of the notes mentioned a rubber pipe. There's something around here that's sharp, though, is there? I haven't seen anything sharp. Which one mentioned the rubber pipe? Yeah, I'm gonna have to puncture a hole in the rubber pipes to clear the smoke up down here. I think I maybe just figured it out. I picked this up from in here. Reinforced glass, shatter resistant. Yes. That's probably it. I probably need to smash it, right? And then use the glass to puncture the rubber hose? I kind of forgot that I picked it up because I put it back in my case. Yep. All right. They hold the key to remembering the way we were. It's shatter resistant, but it's not shatter proof. <laughs> yeah, no kidding. Okay, let's puncture some hoses. Okay. One more should do it. I'm not even entirely sure what this is going to accomplish. Oh, apparently that. Okay. Really not entirely sure why I had to break that one bottle, but I couldn't break the other bottle. I don't know. It's a bit strange. Broken bottle is a broken bottle. It's sharp. Somebody tried to smash a note. That's not how you laminate paper. The Devil's Chamber, Part 1. I... Uh, I think it's supposed to be read with a thick accent, maybe? I air the knockers... I hear the knockers calling me, I think that's supposed to say. Or supposed to mean. Deep down the mining shaft, the temptress of the sea is rolling. Brimcliff will have the last laugh. The miners left their homes that day. To stop the devil within... They never return for their supper, lost in a void and maze of tin. We erred the blast ring out of the town before the world fell quiet. The woman and children cried out as the industrial machines went silent. Creepy. Ooh, is that the manual? I yes. Perfume and it all comes flooding back. 
All right, definitely going to keep that. You know? I should probably keep it there so I can access it anytime and take this with me. Because I've been using it to open doors, so I might use it again. Here's the next part of this creepy tale. The Devil's Chamber, Part 2. Their stark, lifeless forms. Our bodies lost in time. Frozen forever, deep underground. Eternally singing this line. The Devil will have his way if you step into his lap. He will torture and torment thee, luring you into his trap. If you think you can escape his wrath, your mind is addled and lost. For the Devil's, cha the devil's Chamber is on your back. And your life will be the cost. That's all there is down here. I wonder if that unlocked any parts of the projector. And I know I'm supposed to place the thing on his desk. Oh, yeah. Yeah, this has been repaired, isn't it? Two parts restored. How many parts does it need? Uh, I guess more than two. Okay, so let's place the book on his desk. down there? Oh, there. There it is. Uh, our readings, they're showing that this, this is what's causing the symptoms of dementia in our patient. Or at least it's, it's part of what's causing it. The stone? I really want to know what's behind here, too. It's a big lock. Big locks hold big secrets. It's an ethereal stone. Or ethereal rock. Smaller version of what I saw back at the Ether Institute. Destroy it any way you can. Once the task is done, I'll be able to extract you from the memory and place you in another. So this is a representation of, what, the, the plaque, the thing I'm cleaning out? The source of her disease? Alright, so I've got to smash it. Or break it in some way.
Oh, here we go. Smashing machine. Take this. Ugh. Trust Phyllis. I, I don't want to press it. I, I don't think I'm going to do it. Is there something else I can do? I wonder if we even have a choice. I can't even jump anymore. It's weird, I've lost the ability to use my feet. Maybe I have to. I think I have to. Hmm. That made it seem like it was a choice, but I guess it's not. Okay. What have you done, you stupid little rat? You've ruined everything! Oh god, no! Let's keep moving. Moments, like stars, are passing me by, burning so bright and so fast as if they never truly existed at all. They're so beautiful, so fragile. I want to hold on to them. I want to hold on and never let them go. Why can't I hold on anymore? Please. Restorer? Can you hear me? Ah, oh, there you are. I'm sorry. What you've just experienced was a relapse of our patient's condition. Hopefully you didn't cause too much damage whilst inside. Now, the objective as stated is to locate Jean's artifact. At this present moment in time, we don't know what this item is. We need to gather information from important memories our client can still understand. Their core memories. Select on the map to travel there. Pinwheel Harbor. Where is that? I see Devlin and Harbor. I guess the Harbor is the Pinwheel Harbor. Right, so I'm definitely suspicious of Phyllis. I mean, when I started the game, I was walking through empty hallways without a single person in sight. And then, coming across a room that had a broken piece of machinery in it, she closed it. And said, oh, there's nothing to see. And then she suspiciously made various windows opaque so that I couldn't see through them. I certainly don't trust her. I'm not even entirely sure exactly what's going on. Just everything seems very suspicious. Okay. Alright, so how do I travel? Just press that. Okay. It's like I just woke up in this room. Yeah, 
God, these books are massive. Seriously. My God. Alright, so I've got one of 20 restored memories. Oh, so if I go back here... Then I'm guessing the restored memories can be... Like, rewatched by using... Where is it? This? Yes. Okay. Man, this game is beautiful. Just look at this. See if I can get a cinematic shot. Here we go. Red gold chopped tomatoes. Mm mm mm. Anything hiding in there? Oh, yes. I will certainly take that. So, does that go back on my thing? Down here? The safe that's missing numbers? It's a different color. I guess not. Stick that there. And take my tomatoes back. Just a side note. Any items you pick up can be stored in the case. Should you want to. I think she needs her memories restored, because I think that's the third time she's told me that. Pete Hill Reserve. Kentucky Bourbon Whiskey. <laughs> Tomatoes and bourbon. Or, wait. Wait a minute. Bourbon whiskey? Aren't those two different things? Is it a mix? I don't know. Whatever. I wonder if I can actually open the tomatoes. Like, cook something, maybe? Painter's Journal number one, entry one of ten. I've been told by my doctor that keeping a journal about my workshop work will be beneficial for my treatment, even at this early stage. In this morning's workshop, I painted for the first time in around five years. My doctor was indeed right. I felt incredibly relaxed as I sat there in that light and breezy room brush on paper. It reminded me of a time long ago when I used to paint professionally. I have struggled in remembering my most recent work, but I do remember that long ago I produced a painting that overlooked Pinwheel Harbor, tracing the coastline all the way to St. Paul's Lighthouse. A deep sense of inspiration was felt when this memory was rediscovered like an old photo album in the attic. It made me feel good again. Is that the painting I have back at my place? <laughs> the one of the lighthouse? Store everything. That seems even mildly significant. Why not? Plenty of room. Welcome. Right. Let's try to make sense of all of this. Explore whatever you can, and I'll keep in contact with any new information. Places so large. Pinwheel May Day Festival, first of May, Town Square. Music and celebration starts twelve p.m. Ooh. 
Ooh. What is that? What the heck? Back button to check ribbons and case. Interesting. Oh. Her memory fragments are in the form of ribbons. I'm going to store them here for you from now on. Right. Let's try to make some sense out of all of this. All right. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, sixteen. Sixteen plus sixteen. So there's thirty-two ribbons. JD Taylor. Might as well store that too. We've <laughs> got lots of alcohol. I shouldn't have taken the alcohol, because there's so much of it, that means it's probably not important. Reminder. Herbs and spices go here. Oh. They mean in the sink, or up here? <laughs> I wonder if I actually can make something. Well, I don't have any herbs or spices yet. I do have a can of tomatoes, but I'm pretty sure you don't want to use a can of tomatoes when making alcohol. But maybe I can come back to that later. I should probably write a note, because, again, there's nothing to track this stuff. Um, spices and herbs at uh, JD... JD's place, I guess? Yeah, good enough. I think I'm gonna need more than one piece of paper by the time I'm done with this. Let's go down. Have you got an umbrella? I didn't think we'd get caught out in it today. It's bittersweet, isn't it? Exploring the memories of somebody and listening to them when they were young and knowing that now they're, well, she's 69 years old, suffering from dementia. Better times. Look at the small details. The movement of the rope. That's wonderful. Let's just listen to the water. How come you're not leaving footprints in the snow? What was that? Is that what happens when you go out into the water? That was not pleasant. Oh, do I need to just press back? I think that's just what happens when you go out into the water. I was wondering, you know, is it going to be like an invisible wall or what? 
guess that's what happens. Oh, there's so much to explore. I love it. I wonder how long this game is. I mean, I was expecting it to be relatively short, but looking at this, I'm thinking it might be kind of huge. I don't know. Oh, there's another ribbon. I must say, I am impressed, Restora. You've done such wonderful work this evening. Just between you and I, there's a lot riding on this restoration. It's our last week of funding, and, well, I haven't got any usable results. You're my last hope. And it's very important that I... <laughs> Sorry, we succeed. I wonder if I can get to the get to the lighthouse. Cuz I don't see a bridge or anything. Hmm, huh. maybe that's a puzzle. I really love this game. It's so satisfying just to be in this world. It, it just feels good. I just can't wait to explore it. See what's around here. He can go in everywhere. That's so cool. I don't think I can actually get on the boats, though. No. Oh, well. Ooh, wait a minute. Can I go down here? Hmm. Hidden Eight, treasures? Nine, ten. Ready or not, here I come. Do you remember? I see a puzzle in the basement. Like a broken wire or something. The mind can be like a blank canvas, or a picture can be left incomplete for a generation, only to be finished years later in life. The blacksmith was a vital part of the British town for a very long time, but with industries growing and taking over, they had to find other ways to survive and remain in trade. This particular smith became well known for his sculpting and other decorative metal work. But apparently he became a recluse after the industrial decline and destroyed all of his work. That's sad. Ooh. Definitely gonna use that for a puzzle. Ah, looks like it needs power. Which would be downstairs. But first, what's upstairs? Hmm, maybe I should store that. Yeah, I'll store that. Go, go, somewhere, go. No. Yeah, there we go. Damaged floor. Dear Mr. Bell, although I'm grateful for the extra income, I'm slightly worried about the damage you've done to my floor whilst putting your cables under my workshop. The floor looks very weak and I'm nervous every time I have to carry something heavy over it. Anyway, I've made the repair cable you asked for. It's only a temporary fix, but it should do the job. We'll talk about the floor again soon. Hmm. Alright, so there's a repair cable. Music.
I feel like I should write those down. 1966, just in case they mean something. Dear Aaron, My sleepless nights have now almost stopped. The rolling sound of the buoys out at sea helps me to drift off every night, and Poppy sleeps soundly at the foot of my bed next to my tools. It has been difficult to continue blacksmithing in the same capacity as an old man. There are so many repairs that I need to do for the locals that I am just not quick enough to do it in time. Anyway, those Wainwright kids have been playing around the furnace again. They come down to watch the toy boat, toy boat races on the river, but like to take excursions into my workshop. I know your neighbors with their parents, so could you ask them to have a word with their children for me? I just don't have the energy to chase them anymore. That was disappointing. <laughs> All those drawers for naught. Oh, I can actually light and unlight this candle. Neat. I'm going to leave it lit. Looks cool. Ooh, is that the repair cable? It's some sort of a cable-y thing. I will take that. Actually, wait. Yeah, I'll keep this one and put the other one in the case. on fire. Oh, that's supposed to be the handle. The artist's tools are kept sharpened. Any memory can be etched in stone. Whoa, look at that. Even the flames are kind of painterly. The art style of them. It's really cool. Okay, not quite sure what I can do with that yet. Hmm. Might come in handy. I mean, I can maybe forge something, but at the moment I don't have anything to forge or modify in every way. In any way. <clears throat> Beefield Cider Distillery, Fletcher Street, Pinwheel. Alright, so how do I get down there to repair? Repair it. Oh. Well, apparently I don't need to repair that down there to get this working. Uh, what does this do? Right, so this is obviously for making stuff, but I don't have anything to make at the moment, do I? I don't think so. I don't have anything back here, right? No. Need some piece of metal, I suppose. I guess they had a dog. Oh, here we go. I think this will... If you feel lost, or don't know where to go, remember you can go back to the case and check the map. 
Actually, no, that doesn't take me down there. How do I get down there? What the heck? I see there's a pathway there. I think that's a door. It's over here and down. Is it down more? Maybe I go in from this building? Oh yeah, I probably come in from this building. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. That's what I, that, that's what was at the bottom of every trash can. ST1845. What the heck? I feel like that's just a texture bug. I, I don't see how that could be significant. Why would that be on the bottom of every trash can? Ooh, ribbon. Ah, it's a pub. The Crow's Nest Pub. You know, I am sorry about before. The relapse and all. Just remember, it's incredibly important that we trust each other. Don't worry too much about her brain. I'll be monitoring it on my end to ensure that no severe damage is caused during your visit. <laughs> well, as long as no severe damage is caused. I suppose moderate damage is okay. A crow with an injured wing, just lying there on the beach. How sad. I imagine this was almost a second home to most of the fishermen who lived here. There was a strong reading when you walked in. There's a story to be told here. I think you better keep looking. Playing cards. 